Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a crochet vlog. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I'm working on and yeah, just like chatting about all my projects and the progress that I'm making and things like that. I went to the yarn store today to buy some, the yarn store, I went to the craft store to buy yarn today. So I want to make my sister-in-law a blanket and here are the colors that I chose. Hopefully that will work out. It's the pattern says it only takes seven hours. So I hopefully it won't be like huge undertaking. Then I wanna make my other sister a tank top as well out of this purple yarn. I have a lot of gifts to make and I'm, I'll be seeing those people in like about a month or so. I have some things to work on, but I'm looking forward to it and hopefully it goes well. Yeah, I will keep you guys updated. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with. Maybe the blanket just so I can get a head start on that and feel confident that I can get it done in time. <laughs> All right, I will show you, see you guys later with an update. to give you a little update on the blanket that I started last night. Here we go. This is my progress so far. I am really enjoying making this. It's moss stitch, I think. So it's just single crochets and chains, which is super fun and easy. So yeah, I like to just like watch TV and work on it. And I don't think it'll take me too long. I'm 20 rows in and there's 118 rows in the pattern but also last night while i was working on it i realized this is like her wedding colors kind of uh, they got married last week a few weeks ago and they had pink bridesmaids dresses and then they had a lot of greenery i just think that's kind of fun and i think it'll look really cute in their house and i'm really excited about this i haven't made like a full-size blanket i've made a baby blanket before i think it's gonna look really cute when it's finished and be really soft and fun to use so I'll give you guys an update later. Hey guys, it is the next day and I wanted to give you guys an update. So I'm still trekking away on the blanket. I don't have that to show you. There's just like a few more blocks of color that I've added to that one. But last night I started the tank top for my sister and I have made a lot of progress. So this is like a fourth of the tank top like this. And I love this color and I love the texture. I'm having a really good time with this. I haven't made very many shirts, but I've never made one that like works sideways. Like I'm working the rows up and down instead of like back and forth. But I, I really like it. I, it's a fun way to like see your progress and like see the shape of the tank top, like instead of just like a rectangle until you get to the last bit of the project, it's like, you can see where the strap is and like the neckline and yeah. So that's been really fun and I'm really excited to finish this. There's my update. I will give you guys another one when I have made significant progress on something or if I start a new project because I just, I love having way too many projects. Hey guys, I figured it's time for an update because it is a few days later. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the progress I have made on the blanket. Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. I might get like a better shot of it later um, so you can see how like long it is. But there are six collar blocks out of 13. So I'm like almost halfway. I'm really liking how it's turning out. I don't know, I like how the stitch looks and everything. I, I like the colors together. So I think it'll look really cute in there in their house draped over their couch. So hope that she likes it. <laughs> also, I finished the front panel of the tank top for my sister. So I just have to make one more of these and then put them together. And there's like a little border that goes around the neckline. Thought it would be fun to see how much I could crochet in one hour. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse and watch a one hour long Katie's reading vlog. 
because I love her videos and I need to catch up. So I'm gonna do that and start on the front pan or the back panel of this tank top and I will show you guys how much I get done at the end of the hour. Yeah, let's do it. So my video finished so it's been an hour and this is the progress that I made on this panel of the tank top got to the strap I'm not completely finished with the strap part but I completed 13 rows I'm pretty happy with this pro progress I've never done this before where I've like timed myself to see how much I can do so that was kind of fun I think it, it helps me to like make a lot of progress in the beginning starting off this panel because it's just easier to pick up again. There you go! I'll probably update you guys when I'm finished with this panel and maybe show you guys putting the pieces together and doing the neckline border. So talk to you guys then. Hey guys I have finished the second panel so it's time to stitch them together and then do the edging. So I'm going to do a time lapse for you guys, then I'll show you the final result. since I've updated you guys, but I've made a lot of progress on the blanket. I only have one more color block to do, but yesterday I did lose yarn chicken and I ran out of the white yarn. So today I went to the store to get more. They didn't have the exact brand, but this one I looked up and it said that it was a good substitute for it. So I am gonna use that and it looks very similar, so I think it's gonna work. But I'm almost done with it. I have a lot of ends to weave in. And also, on my other project, I'm done putting it together. So it is like a tank top now. And I weaved in all the ends and everything. The only problem is the collar, like the neckline part. I did like the slip stitch thing that the pattern said, but it made the collar like really scrunched together. Like it didn't make it as like loose set as, as it is now and it was really tight and it looked bad so I took it out but I'm gonna try one more time to like do looser slip stitches and do maybe more of them along the collar and see if that works. My sister who I'm making this for said she didn't mind if it just didn't have that part of it so if it doesn't work then I'm just gonna leave it how it is because I think it's cute. Yeah, those are my updates. Maybe I will do a little bit of a try on the tank top and show you guys the full like length of the blanket later. Here's what the tank top looks like on. So you can actually, the bumps are kind of smoothed out when it's stretched a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. It's just like the arm spot where there's like those corners but it's really cute I love the ribbed and it's very flattering so I'm excited I think my sister will really like it and I'm gonna try the collar one more time but I think it looks cute how it is so hey guys I have finished the blanket so I have weaved in all the ends and everything but I wanted to show you guys the final result and I laid it on my bed so you guys can see the full beauty of the blanket. It's very soft. I love it. I'm so proud of it and I really hope that my sister-in-law will like it for their house. I think it will look nice on their couch. So. so that is the end of today's video of this crochet vlog. 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different from what I normally do, but let me know if you guys liked going along with me and my process. If you like this kind of video, then I might do some more. I might also do some crochet challenges similar to the ones that I do with reading. So let me know if you guys are interested. Leave me a like and let me know anything you want in the comments. So I hope you guys have a really good day. Bye!